Hello and welcome to this course on design practice. Uh, I will be the instructor in charge uh, for this course. Design, as you know, is a very, very emergent discipline which has uh, come into limelight over the past about, I would say, uh, 20 to 25 years. Although the realization of design uh, as a discipline was felt way back uh, post-industrial revolution when products which were mostly utilitarian in nature needed to be uh, fitted to the needs or the, uh, the human aspect which is involved in the usage of any product or any service or any system as such. Design actually is that uh, vehicle which bridges the gap between technology and the actual human aspirations or needs behind how to use the technology. So in this particular course, our focus would be mostly on the, uh, some of the basic tools which are available uh, to a designer who uh, starts to design a product or a service from scratch beginning. The course is primarily intended for beginners in the, in the area of uh, design. Uh, beginners could be people who uh, want to aspire for uh, a Masters of Design program or uh, people who are practitioners within the industry and they have just uh, joined the area uh, of designing. Uh, the course would be divided into <coughs> various uh, different modules would probably give you some idea about uh, you know different stages of engineering designs uh, related to products. We would try to uh, look into the concurrent philosophy, concurrent engineering philosophy that most of the uh, industries practice where everything from design to manufacturing to even customer uh, care is integrated under one umbrella. Decisions are done with the whole team together. Uh, we will do several case studies in this area to give you a perspective of how actually uh, design <coughs> would be practiced in such cases. Uh, we would also introduce uh, a glimpse of uh, how uh, internationally design is carried out, particularly with the IDEO's approach uh, of design. We would try to talk about uh, product design. Uh, you know, in, in terms of specifications and con constraints, look at uh, how you could embed quality into the design itself, make the design robust enough so that there is uh, hardly any scope of any uh, failure, okay. And, uh, uh, you know, the robustness is really about uh, the number of iterations that you use to arrive at a, a very good product uh, design, basically, which can be manufactured. <clears throat> we would also talk briefly about forms and shapes and how we could utilize the power of computer designing to, um, you know, represent these in a more appropriate manner. Uh, materials is a very big issue in, uh, for designers, um, people who are actually associated with the area of design <coughs> have, have, should have a basic knowledge about how to do appropriately the material selection for different causes, uh, for different kind of uh, needs uh, <coughs> that products would typically be envisioned for. We would also give a brief glimpse of uh, uh, introductory electronics which could be used by some of these beginners in the area of designing. This knowledge, uh, you know, uh, carried forward always helps to mold an individual uh, to at least think about uh, innovation and different approaches to uh, innovate the aspirations or needs, okay, so that there could be a good design. And then finally, we would talk about uh, axiomatic designs and system and process innovation. I will um, also from time to time give some uh, real life problems from industry uh, where all these philosophies uh, merge together to uh, get some novel ideas, some novel innovations into place in form of either product or service or system. Um, finally, I would like to again, once again, welcome all of you uh, to this course and wish you have a very productive time uh, of learning uh, as we go along. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.